Well, hello, everybody. This is RJ Epic here, and welcome to my comic call number 52. I've had these books, uh, well, as of tomorrow, I've had these first three books. As of tomorrow, right now, it is April. Sorry, not April. Sorry, uh, right now, it is May 4th, and as of tomorrow, May 5th, or Thursday, because today is Wednesday, well, tonight, this evening, whatever, it's Wednesday right now. Um,. Thursday, so tomorrow on Thursday, it'll be a week from, uh, when I, sh the first three books, it's been a week from tomorrow when I get them, and then I got the rest of the books on Sunday, uh, I have eight books here, so three I got last Thursday, and the other five I got on Sunday, the first three books I'm going to show you I got from the secondary shop I go to every once in a while. I finally went back there and got some new books, and actually you can already see um, the first one I got. I got two num I got two new number ones, well not new, but they're new to me. Two new number ones to me from the secondary shop, and I, and I, and the next issue in a series I've been reading from that place. And then the other books I got from my regular comic shop and just got them out of my pull list store. Well, I mean, I had to search for them again, but they were in my pull list before because they lost. I don't know, but somehow my pull list got lost, but whatever. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, we're just going to get right into this um, because I want to get this done because I think I might make the comic countdown I still have to make uh, from last. And I might even make the one for this one because I've already read these books. I don't know. I really feel like recording right now. I haven't been able the past couple days because of the stuff. So I'm just going to get into this. Uh, the first book, as you can see here, is Amazing X-Men issue number one. Um, I've already actually read all these books, too. I read four last night, and it took me like two, between two and two and a half hours. Uh, and it's not, I could probably, I could have probably read them past than that, but I don't know. I just have these little mannerisms I do when I read. That kind of take me makes it things longer, but yeah. Anyway, Amazing X Men issue number one. This was a great first issue, um, and I will probably definitely be continuing this series on after reading this first issue. Could probably continue and finish hopefully this series. Um, I actually am kind of a little more in a way interested in this series than the Extraordinary X Men. I don't know what it is, um, but. I don't know, Nightcrawl is a big factor in this. I, I, Nightcrawl is probably one of my favorite X-Men. Uh, I don't know, I really just like how all the characters came together in this book. How everything, all the character interactions and all that. And just the X-Men in general that are in the series were treated. And, I don't know, it was just really good. And I'm not going to talk too much because I still need to do a comic countdown on this. So yeah. Um, anyway, moving on, the, uh, the other new number one that I've gotten, the only other one, if I remember correctly, yes, yes, the only other new number one that I've gotten, um, and that was X-Force issue number one. Um, actually, it's funny, because this X-Men book, I, I know, it's X-Force, but there's, it's, there's still mutants in X-Men and whatever, so, uh, this is actually my favorite X-Men book I've got, I thought this was I just spoiled some of the comic content, but I won't tell you anything else. I'll just tell you if I liked them or not. This was my favorite X Men book. I forgot. I thought this was better than that, so you know this will come ahead of that in the ranking. Um, and I thought it was better than the Shorter X Men. I really enjoyed X Force. Um, I'm treating this almost as if this is the comic cat for some reason today. I don't know why. Um, yeah, this is really good. Naturally, I might have found some of my. Actually, I kind of already knew that I liked Psylocke, even though I never read her in an issue. And I know Cable's already one of my favorite X-Men. But I think I found a new favorite in Marrow and, uh, well, I don't know about Phantom X. Phantom X is my, Phantom, Phantom X is my least favorite. I don't know what I think about him yet. But yeah, anyway. Moving on to continuing on with this series, Avengers World, issue number 5. There are 21 issues in this series, so I'm trying my hardest to get all those issues. And actually, at the secondary shop I go to, there's a whole run of them, if not the whole series is there. Probably most of the series is there. Probably most of the series is there, if not all of it, which is really cool. Um, and I can't wait for that. Um... And that, uh, as you can see by the cover, or, or as long as it wasn't a misleading one, this, um, oh my god, um, this friggin' issue, uh, kinda had a big revolvement around, um, I forget his name already, uh, Manifold, yes, that's his name, 
this issue revolved a lot around manifold manifold and it was pretty cool and it also went back to the aim stuff which i really enjoyed but that's what i'm going to tell you guys for now and on to the books i got from my regular comic shop and i finally got this this has been out for like a month now i think or three weeks at least and that is the amazing spider-man issue number 1.4 remember i got these sunday too so i mean to be fair it's not like I just got these. Um, and this is alright. This story's been iffy. It's been decent. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of don't... I kind of don't like it, but it's it's bearable. Um, this might have been the best issue of it. I said that last time, too. But, I mean, it's kind of slowly improved. And I'm just... I have a feeling the next issue will probably be the best since it's the finale. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe that might be the saving point. Because this has actually been pretty boring storyline. And actually, I've been treating this almost as if it, almost as if it's a number series. So once this is through, I kind of have a number free spot. Because, I mean, I'll go some weeks and, and I'll... Because I'll, I'll go some weeks and I'll have one of these. And I'll have a, a normal Amazing Spider-Man, like, ongoing issue. So, I mean, it almost is like a different series. So... Once this finishes with the next issue, which I'm pretty sure the last issue is the, I mean, which I'm pretty sure the next issue is the last issue because of the whole Marvel Now series, and it went to only point five with the Clash story, so I just imagine I'm going to do the same pattern, so I can't wait for that, have that done, and maybe I'll add something else to my pull list once this goes away, because I know once Mockingbird goes away, unless it gets um, turned into an ongoing, I'm going to replace that with something else too, so... Or I might just have an increase in my um friggin <sighs> I might just have an increase in the friggin um polis anyway because of the DC rebirth gonna be happening soon. Whatever. Um anyway, on to the next issue which has also been sitting there as of today for a month because it's the first week of May. Uh the first Wednesday in May and this uh series comes out the first week of every month now. Um, and it, this is The Walking Dead issue number 153. I got this Sunday, so I was three days away from it being sitting in my comic shop for a month waiting for me to pick it up. I don't know, I just, Walking Dead's been good, but there's other series I'm more worried about getting beforehand. Like, I don't really care that much for this comic anymore. I don't know, ever since, like, the friggin' bullshit that happened with, uh, after the great issue, I think it was 144, and after... Uh, the Whispers killed everybody. That bullshit that happened in 145 and 146, which was so boring, by the way. Um, and just the way the story's been told, there's, these, since issue 151 and 152 were amazing. 150 was kind of a letdown. I was expecting more from it. 151 and 152 were amazing. This issue was awesome, too. So, ever since 151 after that, it's, this series has been building back up for me. And I've really been enjoying it, but... It still kind of needs to earn it back a little bit to be on my um, priority list to pick up every time it comes out. Or else I'm just going to pick it up whenever I can slash whenever I just like basically I uh, need to pick it up before the next issue comes out. That's all I really care about is getting it before the next one comes out so I don't have two at a time in there. So yeah. Anyway on to the next issue. Oh it's upside down. Actually, these next three issues are all, all these last three issues include Iron Man in them in some capacity. So, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, but yes, the first one we have here is Invincible Iron Man issue number eight. Uh, this, it, also this series is starting to build up again. This issue six I found kind of boring. The first five issues were amazing with, with, with probably the best, um, Create with probably the best team on a book I've ever seen. Uh, with Ponzer and for I, I forget his the other guy's name, which is bad. Oh, 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 Marquez with Marquez and Ponzer with Bendis. Marquez and Ponzer with Bendis. But ever since they left, I kind of haven't been enjoying the book like as much, like at all. I mean, I've been enjoying it. These past two issues with issue seven was really great. In issue eight, this was probably even better. Because, well, I think maybe the big saving point for me was that Spider-Man was in it. Is that Spider-Man was in it. And we did get to see Rhodey again. I thought Rhodey was hilarious in this issue. But Spider-Man saved us a lot, too. I mean, I love Tony, but I don't know. I, this art really ruins the book for me. I don't know what it is. But we are also on the road to Civil War 2. I thought I mentioned that. 
Um, but yeah, I did enjoy this. Um, but I'm kind of waiting for this three uh, to this. I'm kind of waiting for this series to rebuild itself right now. And actually, my Iron Man series right now that I'm more like that's more towards my priority list or that I enjoy that I'm enjoying more. And it's only had one issue is International Iron Man issue two has come out. It's actually sitting in my pull list. I haven't added it to my pull, but I threw it in the bag. Same with Spider Man vs Deadpool. That's still not in my pool. That's still not in my pull for some reason. Spider Man vs Deadpool and issue four just came out too. Um, but yeah, moving on, the last two books are from the same series, and that would happen to be all new, all different Avengers issue number seven, and well, number eight's there too, but first, I want to say, I do not have issues number five and six of all new, all different Avengers, which I really need to get, I have heard they're either doing a second printing or a second printing that's come out, so I will definitely try to pick those up, because apparently, like, my comic shop sold out or something, because I can't find them. So I hope I can get a second print in or something, because I need those issues, or else that's going to drive me nuts. But these have been sitting in my pull list for a while, especially number seven. Like, this is probably almost a month now this has been sitting there, and this has been sitting there, the issue eight has been sitting there probably two weeks or so now. Um, so I need to pick them up. I couldn't find five and six on Sunday when I went, so I just picked these up. Um, and I went with it just to have them. And also, the reason I have been trying to catch up on this series, and the reason I want 3D so bad, is because it's part of the standoff storyline. And I, I, I've i actually really enjoyed the standoff storyline of what I have. The issues I actually have with the standoff storyline is the first, uh, standoff thing. Um, I don't have Alpha, which I still need to get. I might get that, because I'm going back to the comic shop on Saturday. I already have five books in my pool, which I can only get five books, I'm pretty sure. But I might just sacrifice a book, or I might be sacrificing books to get other books. So I kind of want to finish some series right now, or finish a series in general. And I really want to get the Attack on Pleasant Hill Alpha book. And I also need to get a, I need, I also need to get Omega if that's there too, which I think it is. So I need to get Alpha and Omega. So I might sacrifice and get both those books. And I need Uncanny Avengers issue number eight, which I didn't know came out, but apparently has. So I need to try to find out if I can, because it wasn't in my pull list. Um. So yeah. But yeah, all the books I have are these two issues now. Number seven and eight of all new other Avengers. I have Uncanny Avengers number seven, and I have the first standoff book, Welcome to Pleasant Hill. Uh, the standoff book in Pleasant Hill, the first, the one shot there. But yeah, I got this. I uh, had a pretty cool beginning with uh, some interaction between. Why am I telling you? This isn't a calm countdown. You know what? Sorry, I'm treating this like it's calm countdown. I'm not telling you what's in this book right now, but let's just say it was awesome. We did have some interaction. Uh, the characters' interactions, and there's some cool moments. I know what, I'm just going to show you number 8 too. Here's all new, all different Avengers number 8. The last issue in this, um, the last issue in this haul, I'm sorry. By the way, I'm starting to really grow on these covers. Like, I'm actually starting to really enjoy these covers. Um, I don't know which one of these I like better. I don't really like the colors on this one as much. I think this one's my favorite of the two. But I like the battle scene of this one. Um... Yeah, these were both really great, and I'm glad that I'm now, basically, besides not having issues 5 and 6, caught up with all new World Different Avengers. Actually, I know it's a Kane storyline, like Vision turns evil or something, because he gets hacked, I'm pretty sure, or, in, or Kane, Kane, Kane uh, like, I don't know if he, like, mind controls Miss Marvel or something like that, and that's why she's, like, kicked out or something temporarily, I don't know, whatever. I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'll try to pick up those issues. If those are there, when I go to the comic shop Saturday, because it's free comic book day, and I'm going for free comic book day, and I can get, I can get, I'm probably going to get like five books or so, maybe. We'll see. Um, if those two issues are there, I'll definitely be getting those. So, I might be getting uh, the Alpha and Omega of the Attack on Pleasant Hill. So, uh, that, and then, that's two books right there. If I, uh, just because I've enjoyed the stand-up event, I kind of want to get those bigger books of it. I mean, I've 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 missed a lot of tie-ins, but I can eventually get those. I want to get the books that are most important to it, besides the ones I'm already friggin' that I'm already getting because they're in my pull list. So yeah, I might also try to catch up on the new Avengers just so I can read it too, since I already got the first issue and it wasn't that bad. Um, and then I'll be get and then if the all new all different Avengers number five and six there, I'll definitely be getting those no matter what. So either I get those two, 
either I get all those four issues or I only get the all-new World Definite Avengers. Um, and then get the standoff ones uh, another time or get one of the standoff ones now. I mean, not now, or get one of the standoff books Saturday and one another time. Or I get, uh, like I said, those two all-new World Definite Avengers and then get free books in my full list. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed any, but anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, theme, and share if you want to. I hope you have, and I hope you enjoy. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, and peace out. And tune in for the calm countdown that either will be coming later today slash tonight, or it'll be coming tomorrow. I promise you guys that. And I'm gonna keep this promise. I really want to record it the past few days, but it just hasn't happened. I'm sorry. But yeah, anyway, guys, peace.